So this is a demonstration for physical issues. And lucky you, help me volunteer. Go me, go you. What is it that you wanted to work on? Um, I have a very tight shoulders, neck and hips. Lower back, like really debilitated right. so <laughs> Neck, shoulders, hips and lower back. Lower back. It's like everything's fused and sort of stuff. And which ones can remain at you the loudest? Neck and shoulders usually because I try not to move there. Yeah. Alright, so let's start with them. Okay. Alright, because instead of working on all of it all at once, yeah. I want to touch. That's, that's an everyday thing, like I'm forever trying to release things. Mm -hmm. So when you're tuning into it now, right now, mm -hmm. what is it out of 10? That? At the moment it's, at the moment it's like a, it's more like 10. Like 10. So it's tense and seven. Tense is seven, yeah. but the locked up feeling is about a three. Yeah. Uh, the pain, the pain, pain is about a three. Yeah. So it's all about a seven. So it's the tension that's tension. a seven. Tension. All right. Yeah. And how do you feel that tension specifically? Where in the neck? Sure. Yeah. Quite often I feel like I'm like that. Right. And yeah, it's in, in the back of the neck and across the shoulders. And I actually ripped my rotator cuff once. Crazy mountain biking accident in Rotorua. And that's, it's, it's fine, but that's where I feel a lot of the pain is in my right shoulder. Okay. In fact, it's, it just gave me a zoom when I focused on that. Okay. Even though? Even though. I've got this tension in my neck and shoulders. Even though I've got this tension in my neck and shoulders. Like I'm like this. Like I'm really like that, yeah. Trying to protect myself from something. I don't know. This feeling that I'm like this. This feeling like I'm like this. this in my shoulders and neck. This tension in my shoulders and neck, like I'm trying to push through. It's like I'm trying to push through something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That reminds me of the accident, the mountain bike accident yeah. in Rotorua. Yeah. Right Brace, bracing myself. Bracing myself. I'm bracing myself. Mm -hmm. That's what I got. The, I've got to protect myself. That bracing myself feeling. Yeah. I've got, brace, like. I've got to brace myself. And I've got to be tough. And, and I've got to be push tough. through. And I've got to push through. Yeah. I accept myself. I accept myself. And the way my neck and shoulders have been protected. And the way my neck and shoulders have been protected. Even though I've got this tension in my neck and shoulders. Even though I've got this tension in my neck and shoulders. Especially my right shoulder. Especially my right shoulder and from the neck across down the back. And from the neck across down the back. Mm -hmm. This 7 out of 10 tension. This 7 out of 10 tension. Like I'm great. bracing myself. Like I'm bracing myself. It's grey, is it? Growing. It's growing. It's growing. Yeah. This growing tension. This growing tension. I'm embracing myself. I'm embracing myself. I accept myself. I accept myself. And the way my body is protecting me. And the way my body is protecting me. Okay. This 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. This tension in my neck and shoulders. This tension in my neck and shoulders. And across my back. Across my back. I'm embracing myself. Embracing myself. What just came up? Embracing myself. I don't know what's coming up. It's you like know what's coming. I never know what's coming. I've got to brace myself all the time. I have to brace myself all the time. Because I never know what's coming. I never know what's coming. I never know what's coming. It's not me now. I never know what's coming. When did it start? Oh. God, have you got long enough? Um, How old? What's the number? Four. Four. Mm -hmm. This four-year-old feeling. This four-year-old feeling. The first time I felt. First time I felt it. I don't know what's coming. I know what came. I don't know how it's going to turn out. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I don't know what's coming. I don't know what's coming. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I don't know how it's going to turn out. That feeling I have to brace myself. That feeling I have to brace myself. That unknown feeling. That unknown feeling. My neck and shoulders are still holding it. My neck and shoulders are still holding it. I felt it again in that bike accident. I definitely felt it again in that bike accident. I was bracing myself then too. I was bracing myself then too. I didn't know what was going to happen then either. And I've been working on a business. Mm -hmm. Started it from scratch. Mm -hmm. Don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen feeling. I don't know what's going to happen feeling. It's been all through my life. 
it's been all through my life. Started when I was four. Started when I was four. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. I wonder my neck and shoulders are being bracing. No, I wonder my neck and shoulders are being bracing. Thank you, neck and shoulders. Thank you, neck and shoulders. For bracing me for the unknown. For bracing me for the unknown. You've done a great job. You've done a fantastic job, given what you had to put up with. Uh -huh. Bracing me for the unknown. Bracing me for the unknown. I never knew what was going to happen. I never knew what I was going to find. I never knew what I was going to find. Yeah. And it's been bracing me for many years. Been bracing me for many years since I was four. Since I was four. Thank you, neck and shoulders. Thank you, neck and shoulders. But I don't need that kind of bracing anymore. I don't need that kind of bracing. Anymore. I didn't have tapping back then. I didn't have tapping back then. But I do now. But I do now. And I don't need to hold that tension anymore. And I don't need to hold that tension anymore. Wow, is it raining? <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell we're in Queensland? Uh, that, that neck and shoulder tension. Shoulder tension. We can release it like the skies are releasing the rain. <laughs> we can definitely release it. We can let it go. Mm -hmm. I don't need it now. I don't need it now. I needed it then. I needed it then. I didn't have tapping me. I didn't have tapping me. And my body's practiced that pattern. And my body's practiced that pattern. It was the only pattern it knew. It was the only pattern it knew. I don't need it anymore. I don't need it anymore. Releasing the tension. Releasing, Releasing the tension. From my neck and shoulders. From my neck and shoulders. Across the back of my neck. Across the back of my neck. Out of my right shoulder. Out of my right shoulder. Even when I had that bike accident. Even when I had that bike accident. I didn't know what was coming. I didn't know what was coming. Didn't. Releasing and letting go. Releasing and letting go. I've got a better way of dealing with it now. I don't have to be so tough now. It's alright to be my woman. I don't have to be so tough. I don't have to be so tough. I don't have to brace myself now. I don't have to brace myself now. I can tap myself through it now. I can tap myself through it now. Whatever happens. Whatever happens. Even the unexpected. Even the unexpected. Even when I don't know what's going to happen. Even when I don't know what's going to happen. Right shoulder doesn't want to let go. Processing and releasing the tension. Processing and releasing the tension. Even though my right shoulder doesn't want to let go. Even though my right shoulder doesn't want to let go. Thank my right shoulder. Thank my right shoulder. For all the responsibility. For all the responsibility. For all the burden. For all the burden. So shoulders are about responsibility and burden. The right side is about masculine. Having to be the, the I've had to be the man all my life. <laughs> I've always had to be the man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Keep tapping. Releasing and letting go of having to be the masculine. I had bigger balls than my ex husband. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
and I had this bulgy bitch. <laughs> decide to let go of patterns, people and places that belong in the past and no longer serves our higher purpose and future, we find ourselves doing a firewalk. In the past our changes would have been dramatic and difficult but that's the old way of transformation. You can now call on your fire elemental being to swiftly come in and clear your path with ease and grace. 
Acknowledge that you're in a time of transformation and allow everything that still keeps you small to vanish in smoke. This fire being will shore up your courage to see this part of your journey through. It's almost over and soon you'll feel renewed, reborn and energised to walk through the new doors of opportunity that await you. Well done for taking this brave step towards the light and staying committed to begin a new life. Yeah, I could feel other like parts sort of, it's like, you know, you're groaning like a ship groans as the wood changes. So I could feel things shifting yeah. across my back. Yeah. And, um, and I bet no one else got borrowed benefits. <laughs> <laughs> what about, um, so we're going to do practice now. So what about, uh, so your hips and lower back, that's your practice, right? That's my practice, yeah. 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 Excellent. That was amazing because I thought, oh, it's not going to go, it's not going to go, it's not going to go. And then I realised, yes, I've been carrying everybody's energy. And I do it for people, and they're not well. I'll, I'll hold their energy up. Time to let go. And there might be more onion layers of specific memories with that. Oh, tell me anyone in this room who doesn't have onion layers. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, even though there's two left, there might be some more specific memories that will come up for oh, you to work on. How to continue.